After dropping off passengers at this seaport town on the Pacific coast, pilot Carlos de los Santos embarks on a return trip to Mexico City. And then he looks over to his right and he sees another one. And then he looks ahead of them and there's one coming at him. It goes below his aircraft and he feels a bump under his aircraft. And he's scared out of his mind. Anyone would be. He then realizes that he's not really in control of his aircraft. His aircraft is moving in a way that seems to respond to these objects, not to him. He goes to move the yoke, and the yoke is moving on itself. The plane starts climbing to 3,000 meters. That's the ceiling of the Piper. If it climbs any further, it will stall out. He will lose control. The plane will fall out of the sky. The aerial images were presented today. UFOs spotted and now documented around the world, holding their first ever public meeting. Top scientists at NASA, joined by a team from the Department of Defense, revealed pictures and video like this one that captured a metallic spherical orb in the Middle East last year. This is a typical example of the thing that we see most of. Saying the origin of the orbs is unclear, officials at the DOD plan to soon deploy dedicated sensors to better track UFOs, technically known as UAPs, unidentified anomalous phenomena. The current existing data and eyewitness reports alone are insufficient to provide conclusive evidence about the nature and origin of, of every UAP event. Confirming 50 to 100 new reports a month, NASA officials say most sightings can be explained, but 2 to 5 percent remain a mystery. Today's preliminary findings, which only include unclassified data, come ahead of a full report expected in July. There's a real stigma among people reporting events. And despite NASA's extensive efforts to reduce the stigma, the origin of the UAPs remain unclear. After decades of debunking and discrediting UFO sightings, tonight government fact, officials are summer, shedding light on images that will lead many to ask, are we alone? Miguel Almaguer, NBC News.